Margalel, professor of pediatric cardiology from Eastern German University and also consultant of pediatric cardiology in Saudi Arabia. Hello, doctor, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you uh, this Thank year, you. Cardio Alex. And uh, what do you see, uh, um, uh, what's your opinion, what do you think about Cardio Alex this year? It, uh, like every year, it's a great opportunity for doctors from all over the world and Egyptian doctors to meet and it grew to an internationally acknowledged uh, meeting over the last 20 years or so. But it's a great job which uh, Dr. Mohammed Sohe uh, really done until now and uh, this year the same. I see, but I see always some improvements, some additional issues which are uh, tried out and I like that about this meet. Okay, uh, what did you present this year? Uh, this year I presented some topic uh, related to pediatric cardiology and not related, which is a controversial issue. Uh, what to do with young patients when they grow older, mm -hmm. young patients with congenital mm -hmm. heart disease. Uh, because at this stage in uh, our area, nobody really feels responsible for them. So it's a growing problem. We have to aware that somebody has to take responsibility of the doctors. And in uh, Europe, it's easier because the patient's association have the power to force the healthcare giver to take care of these patients, like they do an organization. And then they go and uh, tell the government, we need to take care. In our areas, unfortunately, the doctors is responsible for that. And we need, as a doctor, to do more. Mm -hmm. Because these patients, when they're 20, for example, and they have a repaired heart, uh, sometimes they have problems, but they have nobody, nowhere to go. So this is what I, one of the main uh, topics I presented this year. Okay, uh, what's your expectations next year for Cardio Alex 2018? And do you need to see something new or something special? No, my, my expectation also always for our uh, country is uh, to, to improve mm. again. Because we were leading in the area and in internationally 50 years ago and we lost this leadership. Mm and in, especially in medicine, we need to regain it. Mm -hmm. And this is only possible by uh, focusing on research. And uh, happily it's happening. And many universities are aware of this, but we have to push it more. Then this is the only way to improve our service to our patients and as a physician to improve our knowledge and to share it worldwide. I think this has to be enforced for the next years. Thanks a lot, Doctor, and really nice to see you today. Thank you. Thanks.